Hello, welcome back to Carmando's Garage. Today we have a uh, run up traffic uh, 2020. Um, fun brakes are grinding, so we're going to go ahead and get the front disc on Patrick James and uh, I'll show you how we do it. So, first thing we're going to get the wheel off. For that, you need a 19mm socket and your buzz gun. So, let's get a bit of light on this, grab a torch, as we can see here, let's just move this camera down, as you can see here, the brake disc is quite scored, and if we come round this side, you can see there, there's nothing left on the brake pads. I've got a feeling that the sliders might be um, seized on this. So we'll go ahead and get this uh, caliper pushed back first. So I'm going to turn the wheel out, get better access to it. I'm going to get our flathead in here. Just going to push back the, the piston. See the pistons going back nice, so we ain't got a seized caliper. Right, pistons all the way back. Let me get the light in a bit better. Right, so first thing you're going to need to do next is uh, you've got 13 mil uh, on the caliper. Uh, 17 mil at the back. Let's caliper bolts off. Let's move our caliper out of the way. You can see brake pads. There's not a lot left of that back one. This front one. You can see there's nothing at all left of that. Completely grinding down to the backing plate of the pad itself. Next, we need to get off our uh, carrier. We're going to need an 18mm socket for that. Just grab one. These bolts are fairly tight normally. I'm snivelling a bit because I'm still getting over a cold, so I do apologise for that. Put our carrier off. Mm. 
Next, we've got uh, two T40s holding the brake disc on itself. Just want to go ahead and give these a whack with a hammer. And hopefully, they should just buzz out. This quick stuck on there, so we're just going to knock the brake disc off. As you can see, it's pretty uh, knackered that brake disc. Back looks all right because the back pad weren't uh, completely ruined, the front pad has destroyed it. Just grab our new disc. So, new disc there, as you can see, nice and smooth, no grooves in it. Just going to run some copper grease around here, uh, so the ne next time the pad, uh, disc comes off a bit easier. When fitting the disc, make sure your two holes line up. And in with the brake disc, you get two brand new uh, retaining bolts. With these, you don't have to go mega, mega tight. All they're doing is stopping the disc from turning when you put the wheel back on. So, um, let's put the wheel back up. So our uh, carrier, uh, we're just going to give these quick wire brushing, and then we'll take out uh, the sliders, get, make sure they're not full of crap, and re-grease them. I'll bring you back in a minute. There we go. We've got our faces where the pads sit all nice and clean with a wire brush now. I'm going to refit this. Camera so you can see better. Once again, these are the um, eighteen mil socket. I've invested in one of these new uh, dual twelve volt. Um, 3H ratchet. This is unreal. The power in it is absolutely amazing. Never had a uh, battery ratchet like it. I've got a couple of um, the Mac Tool 12 volt ones, uh, a lot shorter, but this one uh, worth its weight in gold. Especially if you're doing this for a living day in, day out. 
if you're doing it as a hobby, you probably don't want to invest, but right, we're just going to pop these sliders out, just pull them out. You can see that one's actually uh, clean. We'll just put some fresh grease on that and pop it back in. Everyone has a different opinion on what grease um, to use, so I'll let you decide. I do use copper grease or lithium uh, grease. Fair amount of grease on it. Just pop it back in. Make sure the rubber seats back down. Um, so our new pads, these do have a, a little anti-rattle. Uh, clip on them, they are a pain in the ass to get seated, so you might see me struggling here to get the pads in. And that won't prove me wrong, and jump straight in, see where the front, and that one straight in as well. Stick a bit of copper grease on the back of these. Stop them sticking. Everyone has their opinion on this as well, so it's uh, down to your own discretion if you grease up your pads or not. And in the box of uh, brake pads, we do get two new uh, caliper bolts, so we will fit them while we're doing it. These come free, um, lock tightened up as well. When fitting your caliper, uh, just check, make sure that you've got no uh, kink in your brake pipe. And you don't want to go mad on these. Turn that wheel straight. Just want to make sure you pop your uh, brake pipe back into its holder. There's nothing holds in, it's just a rubber bung. Um, that's all done. Uh, just put the wheel back on now. Always make sure you start all your uh, wheel bolts by by hand before you use an impact gun, so you don't cross thread anything. I just nip them like that with my gun and then once I've uh, dropped the van back down, I'll torque them up to uh, the recommended torque setting. Uh, we use Haynes Pro to get all our uh, torque data off and repair times. But thanks for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe and uh, I'll see you in the next one.